Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have just filmed this heavy glam tutorial. It is up on my channel now, so you can head over to my channel to go and watch it. So in today's video, I thought that I would show you how I do my eyeliner. Now, this is an extremely heavy look that I've gone for today, um, but it just gives you a guideline of how I do my eyeliner and what my best tips are, and I wanted to share these with you. Obviously, if you don't want an exaggerated look like this, you can customize your eyeliner. I just thought that I would give you some tips and tricks which help me do my eyeliner so if you would like to know then please keep watching so what I like to do is I do like to take my eyeliner eyeliner can be so tricky to apply if you don't get it right so all I'm doing is I'm just going to be taking my elf eyeliner so it literally just looks like that it is one of my favourite eyeliners partly because the formula is so great to work with and I'm just going to be using my angle brush by Zoeva. This is number 317. So all I'm doing is I'm just picking up some of that product from the tub and I'm just going to warm it up on the back of my hand like that. So as you find that when you warm the product up, it's a lot easier to work with. It glides so perfectly as opposed to just taking it out of the pot and applying it. It's like oil. When oil's warmed up, you get better results from it. So it's the exact same scenario. You warm your eyeliner up before you apply it and it applies perfectly. So all I'm going to do is you do keep your masking tape on because the masking tape will act as a base for your eyeliner. So all I'm going to do is I'm not going to do any swiping or any dragging motions. I'm literally with the brush just going to mark where I want my wing to go. So I want it to start here. So I just press down and as you can see there's just a little mark that's been made. And then with a really light hand, I join it to the eye. When I've got that perfect wing, I then like to start here. And again, I'm not gonna swipe. I'm just gonna mark where I want that wing to start. And when I found that, I then just slide that across my eye. Like that. Okay, so when I get to the inner corner, I then like to change the direction of my brush and just slide up just to join the other bit of the eyeliner. And then I like to press to ensure all product has been distributed evenly across the lash line and the inner corner. So then once I've done that, I then just like to press and swipe down just to ensure again that all product has been distributed evenly and obviously if you do come across like little jagged edges you can just go back in afterwards and just perfect them if you don't know what you're doing with eyeliner it can be the hardest thing ever i've tried for so long to try and master the instagram wing any sort of eyeliner wing and it's taken me forever it's been so difficult but i really hope this tutorial will help you so anyway when i get to around here so there i'm now just going to mark where i would like And then I literally just join it like that. And if you find that you have lost some of your flick, I then just like to mark like that. Just to perfect the wing. Now, you will find that you are going to be sat here for at least 10 minutes trying to perfect your eyeliner. So I really don't like doing eyeliner in a rush. So once you've got your outline, I just like to go back in and just perfect any areas where I think needs a bit more product or where it's not exactly even. So I just go in and perfect the rest. So you can either leave the eyeliner here or what I like to do to define the eye even more, I just like to bring it down slightly so I mark it about there 
and as you can tell it really gives the eye definition it makes eyes pop so much more because i know eyeliner can sometimes small in the eyes once i've done that i then like to take my masking tape off so as you can see i have gone for a really thick eyeliner look today because i am going for that heavy dramatic cat eye look but what you can do with this is if you don't want it that thick you can customize this so if you didn't want it as thick you could always bring the top part of the eyeliner down a little bit you don't have to mark it where i've marked it Obviously my eyeliner is extremely dramatic at the moment. It's how I do my eyeliner. After I've done that, I then like to take the exact same brush and I like to take a black eyeshadow. And I like to take any sort of black eyeshadow, it doesn't matter. So all I do is I just dip the eyeshadow in the product and then I just go over the eyeliner using patting motions what this will do is it will set the eyeliner and it was it will also make the black color pop a lot more if you were to just apply eyeliner and leave it it will transfer either below or above the eye so by setting it with the black powder it's like your foundation and then your powder you apply the black eyeshadow over the black eyeliner to set it in place to keep it long lasting and to also make the black color a lot more vibrant so i really hope that you've enjoyed this eyeliner video as i say if you don't want a heavy look like this the eyeliner is customizable it just depends on how far you bring your eyeliner up i hope these tips really helped you until next time